So you've recently started streaming and you're looking to set things up and kind of get the ball moving like you see other streamers do. And one of those is frankly using Nightbot. We're going to show you how to use Nightbot, set up all the different commands, set up some timers and make the best use out of Nightbot to make sure that your stream is going nice and smooth. It's a pretty quick and easy process. We're not gonna add too much fluff, so let's get into it. First things first, you're gonna go to nightbot.tv. be a link in the description. Once you go there, you'll just click join. It'll ask you to link your Twitch account. I've already done that, I'm not gonna undo it, but it'll ask you to link your Twitch account and then you just log in with your Twitch info, the same that you always would. Now, when you get to the dashboard, your dashboard's going to be here and it's going to ask you to join channel. You'll see that at the top right of your screen, you're going to hit join channel. Now this pop-up will display, and this is the only real important step that you're going to have. It says, ensure that you have modded Nightbot in your channel. Nightbot is not a moderator, it cannot function properly, go figure. So all you have to do, go to your channel and type in the command. Not gonna show you how to do it, it's right here on your screen forward slash mod nightbot you hit close and now they're part of your channel and your setup is complete and the video is over all right it's not completely over let's actually talk about some of the things that you can do with nightbot so as you know a lot of what happens is commands commands are basically what a lot of people use we see it for memes we see it for copy pastas we see it for actually valuable information if you go to commands, you can click on default. And when you click on defaults, you're gonna see a bunch of different things. Now for me, you can see that I actually have a lot of these disabled. For me, I don't need a lot of these. I have custom things set up and different things that I'm trying to do, but having the commands actually is important. This one actually brings people to, if you type exclamation point commands in your channel, it'll bring somebody to a page so that they can see all of the commands that are in your channel. For more information, there's always gonna be the docs button. You can click on the question mark there. I disabled all of these, pretty simple, self-explanatory. There is some options as far as like how, how frequently somebody can use this. Now, this is going to be a pretty common part for most of your commands that you're going to see. User level, you can click the dropdown. This allows it so that everybody that's in your channel can use this command. If there are certain commands that you want to have for your subscribers, then, well, you're probably doing pretty well for yourself. You can set it to subscriber, regular, VIP commands, moderator, and owner, which would be yourself. So you can set the different levels of people that can use this command. For something like exclamation point commands, you want everybody to use it. But let's say you don't want somebody to just spam it every second and then just spam your channel with exclamation point commands. The cooldown here is right here. You just click it and slide and five seconds, 10 seconds, whatever it is, this prevents it from being spammed in your channel. And that way, if somebody's used it 10 seconds later, it can be used again, because realistically, nobody's gonna use this every 10 seconds unless they're spamming, and that's it. You just hit submit, and that's all that you need to just adjust the command here. So one way to utilize that is to use the custom command. Now, I've got all kinds of different commands. My channel's been around a while, and there's different things you can do. On the top right of your screen, you can add command, and all you have to do is make this command. Now, you can make this, generally commands are followed with an exclamation point. That way, everybody knows that it's a command. Now, there are different things, like you can just type in jabated, and then, you know, it'll turn right around and respond with, jabated you know there's different things you can do with it but overall you're gonna find the exclamation point as you can see they have a default one exclamation point youtube assume you have a youtube channel you can basically use the default basically this is the command that you put in and this is the response that comes back same thing here the user level who can use it if there's certain commands that i think that are vip worthy or whatever i have in my channel i'll adjust it accordingly that's not very common Subscriber commands might be the only one that you would see. And then the cooldown. There is an alias, I'm not really gonna get into this. It said if this command is supposed to call another command, specify the other command here. It's just uh, kind of another layer, another level of something that doesn't really matter, right? Uh, but for these, you might wanna adjust this if you have some meme-worthy stuff, some copy pasta stuff, you might adjust the cooldown on this. But overall, a healthy 10 seconds, if you're a newer channel, is not gonna hurt or make or break anything. You just enter the command, you say what you want it to return there, you set the level, which default everyone, and then you just hit submit. That's all you gotta do. That's all it is for custom commands, and that's really all that you have to do. There's not a whole lot to it. You can make it whatever you want. I have different guides, I have different returns and commands on things that I do. 
and you'd kind of make things unique to your viewers and you can set some stuff up. As far as other stuff goes with Nightbot, you can go to giveaways. This is one where because you've linked your channel, you'll be able to see your Twitch chat as it's happening. So you can kind of tab away and look at things. Now, there's different things that you can do here. The eligibility is up at the top, the giveaway, an active user. Of course, you would like to have an active user. A lot of them are, however, done with keywords. So it's like type in the word giveaway if you want to join the giveaway. And that's really all that you have to do. Regulars get no extra luck, but you can bump that. Subscribers, let's say you want your subscribers to have a higher chance of getting that. You raise the level here and they have one, two, up to 10 times more luck there. Enable spam. You can enable spam so that they only type it once. You post it more than one time and you're ineligible. Now that might be a little bit strict for some, so you might set that to two or three, but most giveaways are done by this very simple task of just making sure. Mods generally aren't included here, but you can include them. They're, they're people too. But having your keyword there is what it is. There's different ones with random number, active user, and you could just say roll it to whoever's active in here. Or like most people, you do some type of giveaway, you create a keyword, you let them type it in and you roll it. That's all you have to do. You start the giveaway and people type it in and it's gonna return back who gets that, that gift or whatever it is that you're giving away. And that's how you use the giveaway command in Nightbot, pretty simple. As far as other commands go, logs, you can check to see what commands are used. That way you can get an idea on some of the popular commands that are being used in your channel. Regulars, this is something that's unique to your own channel. I'm not gonna show you mine. Song request is something that I'm not really gonna recommend because of all the DMCA rules and a bunch of other stuff going on right now. I think this is kind of a slippery slope to get into. It's also kind of long-winded when you look at it because you can set up all kinds of stuff. You can set up a DJ. You can have all kinds of different things played. Now, there is the monster cat stuff that's gonna be here. There's different commands to where in the default commands, it'll show what song that you're playing. You've got to link a bunch of stuff. So it's not terrible if you're using Monster Cat or one of the free ones that are out there. But if you're looking to do more custom stuff, as most people are, I think that's when it gets a little bit tricky. So we're not going to go into that. Spam protection. Here's one that can definitely help you out. And this can kind of keep... There's blocked words that are already built into Twitch, but there's also other things that kind of come in that might be a little bit easier. So Twitch has its own built-in filter that you can put in and you just add different words in Twitch that say, I don't want these words on my channel. And that's it. You can do the exact same thing here in different manners. Let's say somebody comes in and they just want to type in all caps. That can be pretty annoying if that is the type of people that you're trying to avoid. You can just enable these types of things. Excess emotes. I mean, there's emote spam. You can set this up and you can set up the options on this. So let's say you want to have emote spam, but you don't want to have too much of it. You can set the limit on this. Exempt user level. You can say, well, you know, anybody subscriber and above can spam as much as they want. But anybody below that, maybe not so much. And you can adjust that accordingly. And you can also set it to where it times them out. I think that if it's user emote spam, then normally you're going to just kind of set this to where it's like, all right, you've been timed out for like 30 seconds. Like no big deal. It's funny for everybody, but you've been timed out, right? And so that way, different things, you can have it return a message so that if it comes through, it's like, hey, look, don't spam too many emotes, you know? like, And it just kind of keeps people to say, here's a reminder on why you got timed out because you're spamming emotes. And then you just hit submit and there you go. Don't forget that you have to turn this on or turn it off depending on where you want. Links, same thing. Do you want links in your channel? It'll allow you to have different things to time out people that post links. Again, there's a lot of stuff built into Twitch, but this kind of gives you a different level of access and it allows you to whitelist certain links and different URLs to allow things to come through. A lot of that is going to be in your options. You can see the whitelist here, the timeout link, all the different stuff that you're going to see. I recommend that if you are interested in all these to go into the options, click on the docs and see it's pretty self-explanatory on a lot of this. So it's not really that big of a deal. One more important thing that does work out really well, timers. I like to make sure that I let people know, like here's where you can find me on social. Here's where you can find me in, in different ways. Don't forget there's Amazon Prime, you know, the Twitch Prime that they have now or the Prime Gaming that they've changed it to uh, since we're current times right now. And this way it goes at different intervals. Now I have this set at different intervals. You can see, you can edit this. It's just, this is a default title that I give it. And here's the message that comes through. It's just like, tweet, tweet, here's my Twitter. You know, and I have this every 52 minutes. I have them kind of staggered because if you just have them all set to 30 minutes, 
they'll all kind of display at the same time and it feels a little weird. Uh, so I'm not a big fan of that. There is a different command that I have as well that you can exclamation point Twitter in my custom commands, but at the same time, not everybody's gonna do that. And this is just a way to kind of have regular things that kind of come up as reminders on what's out there. And so these are things that you can utilize to your advantage, set them up. I would recommend again, not to have them at back to back to back to back. Eventually, if you set them at staggered, they'll run into each other eventually. I mean, it's just math, but overall, this is a good way to utilize this to your advantage. You can disable, you can re-enable these. They have different default things that are going in, but overall you can set these up to have different intervals and go through and kind of make things easy uh, for you and to make sure that you don't always have to bring up commands. You don't always have to manually go over there and type stuff in the channel because you're busy trying to entertain and pay attention to the game or whatever it is you're doing at that time. So there's different advantages to using Nightbot and a lot of it comes by way of commands, timers, utilizing the giveaways when you get there and finding different ways to take advantage of all the things that Nightbot has for you. As always, I recommend making sure to check your Twitch settings before you start to venture out into third-party apps as friendly as they are and as long-standing as Nightbot has been, things do get dated and a lot of things do stay up to date in Twitch, so it keeps things fresh, it keeps things frequent. You can always utilize the tools there in your dashboard, but for all those other things, if you wanna take another step to make some cool stuff, most notably the commands and the timers, Nightbot is where it's at, and this is where it's gonna help you kind of make and take your stream to the next level to look more and more professional and showing other people that you're investing in your stream as well. So that's gonna do it for this tech tip. This is how to use Nightbot. So if you found this helpful and you've got your Nightbot set up or you're gonna be setting it up immediately after this video, feel free to hit that like button below or leave a comment and let me know what you thought as well or let me know other content that you might be looking for for this channel. Don't forget to subscribe for more YouTube content and other tech tips as well for updates. Don't forget to hit that bell as well to make sure and get those reminders when those new videos do come up as we'll be focusing a lot on OBS, a lot on streaming, but a heck of a lot more beyond that. Thank you all so much for watching. Till next time.